I'm being really bad right now. Okay, these walls must be. What the heck? and welcome to Macy's at Southern Park Mall. I originally opened up as a, I think it was either a Higby's or an O'Hara's back in 1970. And I gotta admit though, the store, I would say might actually be my most favorite Macy's store I've ever been to since the one downtown closed. Well, the one in Pittsburgh, of course. So let's start off the tour. Now I got a little something, a treat for you upstairs, cause like, you'll enjoy it. So we're gonna start off walking around here. So of course we got always the cosmetic and jewelry counters up in the front of the store, like usual. It looks like it's mostly cosmetics. Oh, so oh, yeah. We're gonna take a little walk around this whole entire store and stuff. So oh, yeah, we got the cosmetics department in here. I think jewelry's back here, probably. Yeah, so yeah. Now, I'm not gonna show the second floor until last because <laughs> if you wanna see like how this store originally looked like when it first opened, you gotta see it. Pretty much the only thing I can say is this whole first floor was totally remodeled and I'm guessing either the 1980s or 90s. Okay, so we got like a little finish line pop-up store what well not really a pop-up store just a store inside Macy's which is kind of ironic because there's already a finish line store inside this mall near Dillard's so yeah I'm guessing this is the men's store so yeah I need these drop ceiling tiles it's like textured or something Blah, 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 blah. I do not want to get a copyright crane. One thing I know is that I got to be out here by 6 or 7. And right now it's currently 536. That's the elevator, which is a Montgomery Vector. Yes, you heard me right. Montgomery Vector. Take a look at this. <laughs> I have to say it's probably the first one I came across in a long time. Actually in person. But, we'll save that for later when we go upstairs. And then we're going to walk around the first floor and explore this. I think at one point this was either a Horns or Kaufman's. Oh, they're saying it was a Kaufman's. I don't know if this was Kaufman's or the Dillers was Kaufman's or not. That's another mall entrance over there. It leads out to like, uh, I think it was like the Phase 2 expansion, which I believe dates back to circa 1973. This mall originally opened up back in 1969 or 1970, actually. Oh, here we go, jewelry. I'm not gonna show it. I'm not gonna be showing too much of it because I do not want to give the attention of the employees. So you know how they're like in this store. The one thing I noticed, they don't make Kaufman stores or Macy's stores or any department store like this pretty anymore. Nope. Everything now is too minimalistic modernist. And it just only have like, oh god, this song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're playing What Is Love by Hathaway. This song's such a meme. I mean, it's like one of the original memes. I think it dates back to either the 1980s or 90s. Okay, so we got this part here. This is like the front entrance. It leads outside, at least one of the exterior entrances and exits. Now I can show you the exterior of the store. It's not really that impressive. Oh, I think that's Kaufman's actually did this facade. So I'm guessing this probably was Kaufman's originally. Well, not originally, I think it was an O'Hara's. Or Higby's. Or some sort of Ohio brand department store. Look, I got a bus down there. Oh yeah. By the way, this whole front part facade was redone 
sometime later on. And yeah, there's definitely got to be coffins. I'm guessing it was probably in, redone in the 80s. And these doors might date back to coffins too. Okay, so yeah. Pretty much most of this first floor of the store has been totally renovated. But they're actually still part of it. That's still original from the Higby days. And that's upstairs. You want to see a vintage department store from the 60s and early 70s? <laughs> how used how they all used to look like? I'll just wait. We get up until we get upstairs. So it looks like I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm trying to rush this. So yeah. Alfred Dunner or Dummer, I don't know. Blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get a copyright claim. There's more of those funky texture ceiling tiles, which were popular during the 80s and 90s. I think 70s also. That's boring. Obviously, this is probably the junior's department. Not, this store kind of does look similar to Century 3's, but not by that much. By the way... I wonder if you can see the freight elevator through here. I wonder if it's like original. I think it's like an old Otis. Right there. There's the freight. Right through this door. However, I'm not going to be riding it. No. Plus, you know, I should probably be respectful to the store employees. Probably going to have to blur out a couple faces. More fitting rooms over here. The store is pretty big though. You know, I wish I could cover most of it though. There's like something over there. But the real highlight highlight and treat is upstairs. What is this funky tiling? <laughs> pretty cool looking. Watches. Swag. Why do I keep on saying swag? I mean like legit. Swag is a little too overrated. Last act. I think they might be getting a backstage store in here soon. I don't know where though, but hey. This tiling. Kind of looks kind of Boss Cause-esque, I guess you could say. I don't know why it's like this though. It's like wood down here. It's like raised flooring. Maybe they had like a floor, floor beneath here. Okay, first off, before we go upstairs, I want to highlight that clock. Ain't it pretty? That might actually be original to the store from Higby's or O'Hara's. I don't know. I got to check the history of this store. There I am. Hi. By the way, check out my new Nikes. <laughs> Shoes, ain't that cool? Like, dope. Look at that. A little gift from somebody special. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. It's about time we head upstairs. So in order to get upstairs, we're going to take that ceiling tile was obviously replaced. I mean they still make them like this. I think it's like a custom job though. For that, we're taking the vector upstairs. I'm gonna show Debbie this elevator. Yeah. Completely original vector. I don't think this was from the 70s. I'm thinking it was probably 80s. Maybe early 90s ish. Yeah. I think one of these is supposed to open up though. I don't know how you're supposed to open it up though, but I think I could turn off the fan in one of these. I don't know. You know, I'm not going to bother. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Ready to see some quaint vintage department store aesthetics from the 50s and 60s? Well, 60s and 70s actually. Look at those lights. And yes, this drop ceiling is completely original, but take a look at this out here. Welcome to the 1960s or 70s. Yes, those lights are actually original. Look at this! <laughs> it's like 
I swear, it's like... This is probably one of the most vintage department stores i ever been to. Like, legit vintage. So... So, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I think, like... Blah, 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 blah. I love these lights. <laughs> I love these lights. They're totally fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, those ones are definitely original. I mean, you know, you can tell it's old. I mean, look at the ceiling tiles. You know, that's definitely old. I wonder if this tiling is original. I don't know. I mean, the carpeting definitely does look like original. At least maybe from the Kaufman's era. I think this might actually be original to the store, too. Oh, yeah, these. Oh, yeah, you can definitely tell this is old. Nope. Man, what the heck is that? Oh, a little pin tray. Oh. Very classy. Fancy schmancy. This is the furniture gallery, which is actually really nice looking. Honestly, it looks like that lens was replaced later on. On stale. It's the original from the 70s. <laughs> How about old phone here? I gotta say, though, this is probably the nicest home store furniture gallery I've been in a Kaufman's. Well, I want to, I think it's nice as the one at Monroeville. It almost feels like you're actually in somebody's house right here or in your home. You know, that's the thing I like about these furniture galleries or departments. They usually make them seem like they're at home or something like that, you know? Okay. I don't know what the original elevator was. Like, passing around, I'm guessing it was an Otis. Probably Lexan. Could have even been Black Button, actually, Lexan, you know? The non illuminating ones, you know. Those ones. Shit, the battery's almost dead. So, well, yeah, this whole part here, I believe, was added on later. There actually used to be like a whole facade or window that surrounded that looked like a. It was definitely like a 1960s, 70s space age aesthetics. Where's that? Salon sign. <laughs> Ain't that cool? That's a really cool looking salon sign. And of course, there's the salon restrooms and stuff. Blah 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 blah. I wonder if there was like a TikTok restaurant in here at one point, just like the one at Mill Creek Mall had, or the one downtown Pittsburgh had. I don't know. Uh, cases. I mean, the, the second floor isn't as big as like the first one. But hey, it's definitely worth looking at. By the way, if you want to see a vintage department store from like the 60s or 70s, I suggest checking out, uh... I'm being really bad right now. Okay, these walls must be... What the heck? Found the restaurant. This was where the TikTok cafe or restaurant was. The tile on the wall with the kitchen. Okay, I shouldn't really be back here. I know I was being bad. Okay, so it's confirmed. There was a restaurant in this store originally. And this must have been where it was. I wonder what that's for. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing that was probably where the restaurant was. Interesting how these old shopping malls up until like the 1980s always used to have like restaurants in them. Always. Like these shopping mall department stores. These vintage ones from like the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Always seem to have a restaurant in them. Always. That's definitely original. I know, I'm being really bad right now. Otis. Oh my god. Okay, we're not getting on the elevator. We're going to take a little quick peek at it. <laughs> Look at the door. So we're supposed to hold this. Wow, talk about vintage Otis. <laughs> 
Okay, this is, I'm being really bad right now. Let's close it. I'm not gonna ride it. You may notice peely doors. Okay, I shouldn't be back here. Yes, I know. Don't do that. Okay, I know. I've been doing it lately in store doors. But I promise. It's not really a smart idea to do. But anyway, let's end the store tour by looking at this atrium. Look at this. Look at this. So you got a little bit of the... You got a little bit of the old up here, and then you got a little bit of the new down there. Oh yeah, by the way, look at those old lights up here. Probably don't get kicked out. Look at that. Yeah, you can definitely tell this is old. So yeah, that was a store tour of uh, the Macy's at Southern Park Mall. That'll be it.